welcome back to Reactions That Rock. I am Seth, a former rock and roll radio DJ, but you already knew that. Anyway, first order of business before I jump right into music I've never heard before is this. This? Yes, this. This is Metallicat. That's right, this is a badass shirt you can buy at my website, ragsthatrock.com. You gotta check it out. There's some awesome gear. Everybody's gonna be jealous of how absolutely cool you look in your Metallicat shirt. Yes, that's right. Seriously, how awesome is that? That is high quality printing right there just for you. You gotta check it out. All orders placed before Leap Day, that's February 29th, will get a 15% discount with the code LEAP15 in the box at checkout. So check it out. Okay, now that we've got Matt out of the way, when I started this channel, I kind of fell down the Olivia Rodrigo rabbit hole just a little bit, and I think I have to come back for more. With that said, a few of you have recommended a song called Brutal. This is the official video. Yes, I know it's a year or two old, but I've never heard it, so it's brand new to me. Again, as you know, no research. I go into these blind, dumb, and deaf as if I just heard it on the radio for the first time right now. So without further ado, I'm going to shut my trap, close my yap, uh, not take a nap, hopefully, and fire up the Olivia Rodrigo Brutal right here on Reactions That Rock. There's already like two different music styles going on here. And back to the original. I'm so insecure, I think, that I'll die before I drink. And I'm so caught up in the news of who likes me and who hates you. And I'm so tired that I might quit my job, start a new life. And they'd all be so disappointed, cause who am I if not exploited? And I'm so sick of 17, where's my fucking teenage dream? If someone tells me one more time, enjoy your youth, I'm gonna cry. And I don't stick up for myself, I'm anxious and nothing can help. And I wish I'd done this before, and I wish people liked me more. All I did was try my best. brutal out here yeah it is it's absolutely brutal out here um but i'm sorry if you think being young is difficult wait till you get old because at least when you're young everything works the way it's supposed to be your knee just doesn't give up on you in the middle of the day for no friggin reason but i understand what she's saying especially coming from the limelight perspective yeah it's absolutely brutal uh the world is not as nice as we would like to pretend it is uh, that's, I'm going to take a quick moment. Where's it? Which camera? One camera? Cam I only have one camera. I just don't know where the hell to point because I'm stupid. Um, seriously, the, um, I'm going to take just the quick moment. Uh, it's brutal out there. Yes, it is. We are now worse to each other than I think we've ever been at any other point in existence. And I'm going to blame social media for some of that. You know, nasty ass YouTubers running around talking crap and whatnot. But seriously, uh, I'm going to fire this right back up. But before I do, I'm just going to say, try to make it a little less brutal out there. Um, because this, I think, might be relatable for everybody. Also... If you had told me that Olivia Rodrigo would be cussing and dropping F-bombs in her songs, I never would have believed it. And I think this is the second or third one I've done where she just doesn't hold back. So, again, I'll, I'll recap it at the end so I'm not, you know, sitting on this for way too long. But, wow. Perceived. I only have two real friends And lately I'm a nervous wreck Cause I love people I don't like And I hate every song I write And I'm not cool and I'm not smart And I can't even parallel park <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Yes! Here, 
Okay, we end with a little emotional ballad and some dancing ballerinas and our horns honking, if you didn't notice. So, okay, um, the, the message here is very, very clear. It is brutal out here. Um, the real world sucks. I don't know who has tried telling you otherwise, but the real world really does suck. People <laughs> suck. Uh, I'm, in case you can't tell, I'm a real optimist here. You know, I'm a real... <laughs> Seriously, though, um, you, at the end of the day, though, the world is what you make it. Don't let other people drag you down. Um, I don't know if we get that message from that, but I'm just kind of opining here if I can. Um, that, yes, everything she said is 100% correct. Um, and guys, do I want to say it? Do I want to do the sexist thing? Yeah, I'm going to do it because I kind of really don't hold back anyway. And part of what this is, is me being honest here. So I'm going to do the sexist thing. It's hard enough for dudes. I can't imagine what women go through because most men, even today, and most boys will still tell the, tell people exactly what they think. You know, I grew up as a boy. I'm still one today, sort of. Mentally, I'm definitely a boy and not yet a man. But anyway, uh, guys having this great ability to just say what's on their mind. If if we don't like another guy, we're just going to be like, dude, you're a jerk or whatever, and that's that. But women, and I'm, again, categorizing here just a little bit, but I told you I was going to go the sexist route, so bear with me. Women have a tendency to say a lot of things behind backs. If you don't believe me, go ahead and look at the catalog of every movie ever made in the 1990s, the 2000s, and the 2010s, where girls are not good to each other. There's literally a movie called Mean Girls about girls talking crap about girls behind their back. Girl world is evil. Uh, it can be nice, too. It, it's what you make it. Uh, try to be... Uh, Try to be the, the flower in the field full of weeds. That's all I can say. Or if weed is your thing, try to be the weed in the weeds. I, I don't know. I, I just wanted to somehow tie it into the fact that you're just, you're weed. I don't know. Uh, I was going somewhere with that, or was I? Uh, Olivia Rodrigo, Brutal. Uh, the song, fortunately for me, was not brutal. It is pop punk. This kind of has like a... Uh, Avril Lavigne feel to it, where, yes, it's technically on the rock and roll radar, but it, it has that poppy punk. Uh, there's a little bit of, I don't, it's, the, the sound itself is not emo. There is no emo to it musically, but lyrically, it is a very emo song, and I think everybody can relate to it. I, I don't think there's a single person on the planet that hasn't looked around at one or two or 150 points in their life and gone what the hell is wrong with people this place sucks so i dig it the message is loud and clear uh whoever recommended this all of you i appreciate it i thought maybe once upon a time i would start like screenshotting your recommendations and popping them up on the screen uh and maybe someday i'll get into that uh, or hire an editor to get into that because my brain can barely comprehend just having two screens here and putting this together um yeah, there's a reason in radio that we had engineers. It was because some of us are just not dumb enough to do it. Uh, any of this stuff. I can barely push buttons in case you haven't noticed. Like, I can barely figure that part out and I still screw it up. So, let's hear it for the engineers and the smarter people of the world. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've I've had fun doing this. I hope you had fun watching it. Thumbs up, you know you gotta do that. Thumbs in the middle, they don't have that? No thumbs in the middle? That doesn't exist. Okay, thumb me down if you want to. That's okay. I'm 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 a man. I can take and and that's a test for the ladies out there. We're, we're gonna jump jump right back into the sexism. For the ladies, if you didn't like this, go ahead and thumbs me down. Don't tell me that. Oh no, it was nice. No, no, and then talk about it behind my back. Just thumbs me down. Just hit that. And in the comments, just tell me, tell me you're a sexist dick. <laughs> and and it'll it's like a weight lifted off when you just say what you feel to the person you feel it about. Of course, this is the internet, so most of you will actually say what you feel anyway. Uh, and that's just my my cross to bear, I guess. I don't know. Thanks again. 
anything else you think I need to check out? The pop punk, the young, the younger rock and roll. I don't listen to a whole lot of new rock and roll unless it's from older bands because I'm that kind of uh, closed-minded son of a bee. But you got to tell me what I got to check out. You also got to go to ragsatrock.com and get this awesome Metallicat shirt. Look at that, dude. He's just going to town on the drums, man. So you got to check out my, my shop. And you've got to subscribe. That's the other rule. Even if you don't go to my store, you got to subscribe because, let's face it, I'm awesome and you want me to be one of your two friends, as Olivia Rodrigo just said. And I will happily fill that role for you. So hit the subscribe button. And until we see each other again, thank you so much for watching. And as the late, great Rodney Dangerfield once said, the world does indeed need ditch diggers too. And hopefully that's you. I'm back. Shh. That wasn't Rodney Dangerfield. I had Caddyshack stuck in my head. And the world is a dangerous place. And my brain just went Dangerfield. It was dead night. Wrong guy, right movie. Anyway, the world does indeed need ditch diggers. And if somebody had told me ditch diggers made like 25 bucks an hour, I probably would have considered that coming out of high school.